is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 23 Chapter The Wise King Solomon. Hooray, King Solomon! shouted the people. Solomon became a new king of Israel. Israel. Solomon loved God and obeyed David's teaching. Solomon worshipped God with a thousand animals and give, given. So, like Solomon was the new king of Israel, like Israel, and they all loved Solomon, and he really loved God and served God. God knew Solomon loved him. God told him he in his dream. Ask for anything you want, Solomon. Solomon asked God. I want to know the difference between right and wrong. Give me wisdom. God said, God was so pleased with his answer. Solomon didn't ask for well. He didn't ask for a long life. He didn't ask for wisdom. He didn't give up. I will give you wisdom. I will make you rich. I will make you live long if you follow me. God bless Solomon. So like one night, God came in a stream and he was asking Solomon that what do you want to have? And Solomon answered that, like I want to know the difference between right and wrong. So like God was pleased with him. So like he gave him wisdom. He made him rich. He also made him live long. And God said, if you follow me, then I will give these. God blessed Solomon. One day, two mother came to Solomon. This baby is mine, said one mother. No, this is my baby, said another. So there were two women, and they lived together. They lived together. And one day, someone's son, Baby has died. So like another person who whose baby was died or like saying this is my baby. I don't know who is the bad one. But Solomon said, "We'll live. Uh, we'll live in the same house. We both have babies. One of the baby died during the night, and she switched the babies." Two mother agreed. Kala, uh, King Solomon said, "Bring me a sword." The king's men were confused. But they brought the sword. The king ordered, cut the baby, cut the living baby, and give it half to one and half to another. Like, there they came and like Solomon said, <coughs> sorry, cut the living baby. Like Solomon said, cut the living 
baby into half. So like, let's see what happens. <laughs> no, the baby's real mother was heartbroken. Don't kill the baby. Just give it to the loving baby to her," said the mother, crying. "Good," said the other mother. So the king got to know who is the real mother. So, like he said, to cut the loving baby into half. So like the real mother like. Was shocked and like he said, "No, don't kill the baby. Just give it to her." Because she didn't want her baby to die. And so, so Solomon knew that the crying mother was the real mother. Don't kill the baby. Give the baby to the crying mother. Our king, our king is very wise. The people were amazed. The people of Israel, late Israel, respect King Solomon. King Solomon ruled Israel with God's wisdom. The Israel lived happily and peacefully in Solomon's days. So like King Solomon was so wise because God also gave Solomon the wisdom. Solomon is very wise and he had lots of animals and he was very rich. Rich, not rich. So like she was the grandmother. And King Solomon, God helped King Solomon uh, to be wise, long life, rich. Yesterday, I read the Bible story. Did it enjoy? The next time, I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Next time I will read twenty four chapter, the beautiful house of God. Then let's see you next time. Bye.